guys. So what we're talking about today is a um, build off of our 7B0 to goals. So everyone should be used to this, this pattern. Um, you guys remember I'll ha I have cones set up in this shape. This is our shape. We have our goalkeeper. We have our two center backs. We have our central midfielder, our right midfielder, our left midfielder, and our striker. And you guys are used to taking the ball together um, and passing and scoring on these two goals against either the, the mannequins, as I have depicted here, or against the coaches. And um, what we're going to do eventually is add defenders in, things like that. But I want to start talking about patterns of play, and we're going to become very familiar with certain patterns. And this is the first video in a series of videos that I'll ask you guys to take a look at. So this is pattern number one. Um, I also call this finding the central midfielder. So as we have the ball here, our keeper has the ball and we're building out. So what, when I say building out, we're trying to get the ball from our keeper to the midfield. So in a real game, there's obviously not small goals here. And as I talked to you guys before, 99% of the time, this ball is going to go to one of our center backs. So this is in pattern number one, the ball goes to our center backs. Now you will notice as the ball's coming over, we're already starting to get some movement. The center back on the other side is starting to come over. The midfielder on the opposite side is starting to cinch in and come over. And our striker is starting to just glide over slightly. Now, in this scenario, the center back will be taking space until a defender engages him. And that's what he's done right here. You will see that the midfielder on his side, the right midfielder, has come down and provided a very nice angle. The central midfielder is kind of just staying where he is, also um, giving a very nice angle to our center back. And of course, this, the goalie, uh, our, our keeper, is coming over and also presenting an option in case this is closed. But in pattern number one, the ball goes out to our right midfielder. And again, the right midfielder is now going to take his space until engaged by a defender. As he's moving forward, you can see the whole team is moving forward. The center back doesn't just stay here. He comes up and follows the play to be an option in case he needs. You can see the keepers coming over more. You can see our central midfielder, who was down here providing an option, has now gotten into this space to be an option for the right midfielder. And you can see our number nine, our striker, is now over here for what we call a beyond option. But in pattern number one, we are going to be looking for our central midfielder. So our wide midfielder gets closed off by a defender. He is going to see that he has an option here in central midfield. He's then going to play the ball back out to our central midfielder, who is going to find our striker for a goal. Again, that is pattern number one. And I'm going to show you guys this again. Coming up, we're going to go down the other side. But especially in the next couple of sessions, we're going to be running through this over and over and over again. So one more time for a reminder. Pattern number one. Ball comes from our keeper to our center back. The center back goes and engages the defenders until it's closed off, plays it to the wide midfielder, who does the same thing, who then plays it to our central midfielder, who gets it out to our nine. And watch, you're going to see this play out again on the opposite side. So again, I want you to pay attention that as the ball is coming over, we've already got movement on the other side from our right center back and from our right midfielder. And you can see our center midfielder is starting to come over a little bit. Now he's not coming over all the way to the defender. He's coming over just to be an option. And our, our left midfielder is coming down here to provide an angle for the ball carrier. So again, the center back on this side engages and brings the ball forward until the defender closes him off. And he now has three options. He could play it here to the center midfielder. He could play it to the wide midfielder here. Or if everything's closed off, he could just go back to the keeper. But again, in pattern number one, he goes to the wide player. Our wide midfielder, again, takes space. He now gets closed off, plays it to our central midfielder who plays the ball 
into R9 or just gets it into the gold in, the, in, this, in this particular scenario. So again, guys, this is our pattern and this is pattern number one. So I'm gonna run through it one more time. Goes to the center back. The center back goes to the wide midfielder. The wide midfielder plays it to the central midfielder who then gets the ball up to our nine and we get out and we build out of the back. That is pattern number one. And like I said, we're gonna be going over it over and over and over again. And depending on what position you're put in, you need to know that we're all moving together. So everybody moves together. So this will be on the left side again. And you can see how everyone's moving over. Even the keeper moving over in this scenario. Gets it to the wide midfielder, who then plays it into the center midfielder, and we play out. So thank you so much for watching this, and we'll get working on it next week.